Hey y'all, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Alexis Nicole, aka Weekly Lex here on YouTube and on Instagram. Make sure you go follow me there if you have not already. And to all of my returning subscribers, what's up fam? So glad that y'all are back for another video. So in today's video, we are going to be testing out some of the makeup that I purchased during the Sephora savings event. I posted the haul last week, so hopefully this is being posted this week. <laughs> so you can go check out that video if you like. But we're gonna be getting into the goodies that I purchased. Really excited to get into that. I'm not a makeup um, artist. I'm not a cosmetologist. I'm just someone who likes to do her makeup, okay? All right, so to get us started, I am going to just start out by applying the Summer Fridays um, Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla. Uh, I have been using this, y'all, every single day, and it is amazing. <laughs> like, it's amazing. I might do a video on it, but these are super nourishing, super moisturizing. They're not sticky. They're really, really nice. So this is in vanilla, just to get the lips moisturized as we are putting on makeup. I'm gonna start out by using two different primers. I like to use a spray and then go in with a gel. So I'm first gonna start out with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is a holy grail that I've been using since I started doing makeup in like, I don't know, middle school, doing my makeup in middle school. Whew, it feels so nice. Your skin is refreshed. I love prepping my face with this stuff. So we're just gonna let this dry a little bit. And then I'm going in with the Milk Hydro Makeup Grip Primer that I'm sure everyone has heard of at some point. I really enjoy using this primer on my face. I've heard people say that it doesn't work with um, all foundations, which I mean, I understand not all primers are going to, but I enjoy this primer. It's called Grip Primer and Pro Grip Primer for a reason. It's sticky, so the makeup, the product should be able to stick to your face. So now that the face is all prepped and primed, I'm first going to start out doing my brows. Okay, so as I mentioned in my last, in my last video, my brows have not been done. I have recently moved, and so I haven't found a new brow tech yet to thread my eyebrows. I like threading, so we're just gonna do the best that we can. I'm gonna start out by just brushing out my eyebrows. I don't even know the process really to be using this, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the refry and this was the brow sculpt in clear that I got during the Sephora haul. So it has this brush spoolie for you and then there we go. Once you twist it open, this is the applicator. We're just going to brush up the brows. I don't really know how much this comb is grabbing to be honest, but it seems to be doing the job. <laughs> And then we're going to go in with a product. Again, I was told by the lady that the product is white, but it should dry down clear. So I'm just gonna go in with that to help the brows to stand up. I mean, I think it did a decent job. Once you've applied the brow sculpt, I am just going in with the other side of this brush with these bristles here and simply just shaping the brow. So I definitely feel like drying down, it seems as though the brows are going to stick and stay up, so that's a good feeling. I'm then gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I really enjoy this stuff. I mean, this is primarily what I use. I've used the pen as well, but I do really like the pomade. Okay, yeah, so that Brow sculpt is really drying down, so I kind of have to move a little bit faster than what I thought. <laughs> I don't use brow sculpt, so like this is my first time trying it out, but I do like it. It's keeping the brows up. And then I like to go in um, with NYX's Super Skinny Eye Marker, and I just like to make little hairlines in my eyebrows at the front. Sorry, and I'm looking down at my mirror, so that is what I'm using right now. I don't do a lot for my eyebrows, y'all. But the um, the brush that I used for my eyebrows was Anastasia's Beverly Hills in the number 12 as well, so. Okay, I then like to go in, I like a little bit of a, not ombre, but a lighter beginning to my brows. So I'm going in, the thing is, there is no wording on this. Oh, you know, I think this is Juvia Place Eyebrow um, Tint, and I don't know the shape. But it is a light brown color, looks like this. And I like to just go into the front of my brows with this. 
Don't need it too much or then it can kind of become a little bit splotchy, but that's what I like to do. And so then once I've gotten all of the tints and all of that onto my brows, I'm just going to go in with a concealer to shape. So I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place concealer in the number 12. Okay, and to apply the concealer, I'm just using some random brush. I think I got off of like Wish, the app Wish, a long time ago. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit off of the tip of the applicator and I'm just going to go in to sculpt the eyebrows. Sometimes I'll use a highlighted concealer um, and sometimes I just like a more natural look where I'm using a concealer that's more of my skin tone. So this concealer is more of my skin tone that I'm going in with. It's not a huge highlight here. Going for a very, not very, but going for a natural makeup look, that's usually my go-to these days. And anything that's left over is what I'll just go over on the top of my eyebrows. I don't like to use, again, too much product when I'm just doing natural, a natural makeup look. So I know I look, it may look crazy, but you gotta trust the process. You got to trust the process, y'all, okay? So with the eyebrows being done, I'm gonna now go in um, with just like spot correcting, not with the orange, not even spot correcting. I'm really just covering up some of my dark spots that I have on my face. I like to cover that up with um, a concealer that is close to my skin tone. And so that is the two, I'm using the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. If you have not heard about these concealers, jump on it real quick, cause they are, baby, let me tell you. Full coverage, really nice. Um, apply to the skin nicely, all of that. So as you let that concealer sit, I'm now gonna just go into my under eyes. I like applying a little bit of the same concealer to my under eyes where it's darker. Sometimes I'll use a spot corrector that's orange to go under my eyes or my dark spots or just like any hyperpigmentation that I have going on, but I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna use that concealer. I'm then gonna go in with just a beauty blender and blend that out a little bit. After I go in with that concealer, I'm then just gonna go into those little spots that I used earlier with the concealer on my dark spots. I'm just gonna pat them in a little bit. And then the concealer that's around my eyebrows, I'm just gonna try to blend that in as well. Now we're going over this with foundation, so it's not a huge deal, but it's just nice to do a little bit of blending if we can. Okay, so now that we have done that, we are going to go in with um, our foundation. And I am trying out the House Labs foundation for the first time. This is in the shade 385 Medium Neutral. Now, when I did the swatch during my haul, it was a little orange, so we're gonna see what it's looking like now and to apply our foundation I'm going to be using the pro foundation brush and the number 70 really excited to try this brush out so we're going to put some foundation just one pump I'm just gonna go in with one pump and see what that does for me I don't apply too much foundation on my forehead. I like to focus it more so on like my cheek area, but it's really up to you and however you want to apply your foundation. So this seems to be covering well. The brush seems to be a little splotchy for me using the foundation. Typically I'll use a beauty blender when I apply my foundation, but I wanted to try out this foundation brush. You know, I thought the foundation was orange, but it doesn't seem to be too bad of a match. Okay, now on my forehead, as I'm using the brush, I'm not getting as much splotchiness as I did on my cheeks. So that is a good thing. I think that the foundation blends out really nicely on the skin, it kind of has an airbrush finish to it, but still very natural looking. And I'm getting a little bit of like dewiness. I'm getting a little bit of dewiness, 
I don't put too much on my nose either. Just kind of whatever is left on the brush, I'll apply to my nose, <clears throat> but not too much. And then remember, you always want to bring it down, down to the neck, down to the collarbone. So this is one layer of the foundation, and I think it looks pretty nice, y'all. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I kind of want to go in with a little bit more around my mouth. So I'm just going to, I took like the tiniest bit. I'm just going to go a little bit more around the mouth area. With that. The brush is nice. I don't know if I like it more than my beauty blender though. I gotta say, I'm not certain if I like it more, but I do think that it applied the foundation nicely. Okay, I'm not mad at it for right now. <laughs> not mad at it for right now. I think my skin looks really healthy, really nice, and I think it's created a really nice foundation for my makeup. Moving on, we are going to then go in with our concealer. And so I am going to be using the Kosas Concealer and this is in the shade 07N, so 07 Neutral, the number seven neutral. And I'm using this as a highlighter shade. Now I did want to also use my Juvia's Place to go in the corners and then add the Kosas and then um, see what that looks like. And we're just going to see what it does. So with the Kosas, and I got this in the, the travel size, there is a larger size of this. I'm just going to go in my corner and I'm going to just apply that amount. It goes on really creamy, like that feels really nice y'all. Really creamy. And I like to go in the slanted motion just to give kind of my eyes and my cheeks a little facelift, <laughs> if you could say. Um, so I do like that. And then we're gonna apply a little bit on our chin. I like to do just a little dot there. I like to go in up top on my forehead. I don't know why I applied it that way. <laughs> And then a little dot there and some there. So now we're just going to blend this in with our beauty blender. Ooh, it blends out nicely, y'all. But this is super light. Do you see that? That's real light. We're going to have to go on with another concealer. <laughs> that's too light for me. I think that's too light. That's too light. That's too light. That is too light. But yeah, girl, I think, yeah. I'm gonna go in just with a little bit of my Juvia's Place Concealer, just cause like, that's a little light for me, personally. And it seems to be medium coverage for me. Typically when I go in with concealers, um, it'll be a little bit, I usually go in with a highlighting concealer, but then by the time that I have applied my powder to the concealer, it has darkened down the concealer a little bit. So that's why I'm not too worried with it being too light of a concealer. But it is very smooth, y'all. It does not feel heavy on my face at all. So I'm not mad at it, y'all. I'm really not. And it seems to have um, like a dewy satin finish to it. Back with my foundation brush, I'm just going to blend in the outsides of that concealer with the foundation. That way we don't have any harsh lines. I like that concealer, y'all. I'm going to then go in with the, um, where is it? Oh, the one size uh, Translucent Ultimate Setting Powder. And this is also a powder that I purchased during the savings event. I got the translucent shade. There's also the deep shade, but I am going to try out the translucent. My go-to is the Laura Mercier. Y'all know that, but I wanted to try out a new powder. Okay, going in with Power. Does anyone else make those faces like, oh, <laughs> when you're doing your makeup, that is me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, hold on. I don't 
do a lot of baking, I like to simply melt it into my skin. So that's what I'm doing here. But this powder is nice, y'all. Do you see that under eye? First of all, it looked a little ghosty, ghost-like on camera, but I'm gonna work with it, y'all. I'm gonna work with it. Don't worry, we are not done. But the way that it has melted into the skin, into the other products, it has given it like a highlighted look, kept the highlight of my concealer, but also like flawless. This looks really nice, y'all. And it's it's definitely matte, but it doesn't seem to be too mattifying. It's not splotchy or anything like that. I like that. Ooh. I like this powder, y'all. I like it. I am then just going to go in with um, my Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Fake Face Powder. And this is in the shade, uh, let's see here. This is in the shade of Almond. So I'm just simply, even though we just applied that um, setting powder, the one size, I am going to go in with some of this powder. And I'm just going to go over that powder just a little bit. I'm just taking a little bit, like a little dab and pressing it into the powder that we used. And I do this just to add a little bit more color back into my skin, but also because I'm gonna apply this powder to the rest of my face too, so it'll just be able to blend a little bit better. That's just what I like, you don't have to do it, but I like to do that. Okay, so I am gonna do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna go in with my Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick and Suede Mocha that looks like this. Now this is old school, y'all. This is real old. I've been doing this for a while and I just have never stopped. I really like the shade for me. So I'm just doing a little bit of that. I don't do a ton of contouring, but I'll do a little bit. So to blend out that contour, I'm going in with my Real Techniques blood brush. I don't know what number this is, y'all. I could not tell you, but this is what the brush looks like. I'm sorry, it's not super clean. I need to clean the brush, forgive me. But I'm just going in under my chin where I apply the foundation stick. And I like to go in a little V here. I just think, one, it blends out so nicely, and I think it's just a beautiful, pretty shade on my skin tone. I know that they have a ton of other shades, but I do like the suede mocha color on my skin. I think it blends well with my undertones, but it's not super heavy, it's not super harsh, it's not dry at all, it's easy to blend, as you can see. It's very blendable. So I just like to apply that around my face, and then whatever is left on my, um, whatever is left on this brush, I will simply just go onto my nose. So I don't do huge nose contouring or anything like that. I said huge nose contouring. Like, I don't do harsh contouring on my nose. Like, I just take whatever is left on this beauty, or not beauty blender, but on this brush and apply it to my nose. I'll go under it. That's it. <laughs> That's all I'll do. And then I'll take that all the way up to my eyebrows. Once I have applied that, then I then go in with my Infallible. This is L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation Powder. And this is in the shade 365 Copper. It's broken, y'all. Like, I am dealing with the pieces. So I don't want to, I hope it doesn't fall out. There we go. That's the best I can get. <laughs> See y'all before it falls out. And I'm just going in with um, an e.l.f. I think this is a foundation brush, but I'm just going in with this brush here. I'm doing a little pad, little tap on there, and then I just apply it on top of where I put the foundation brush and suede mocha. I'm then gonna go back in with my Sephora powder and I'm going to put a little dab in there. I'm also using the Real Techniques. I don't know what brush this is. This is the their powder brush. 
And so I do a little dab in here and then I'm literally just tapping it in to my entire face. I'll just tap it and then I'll do little circular motions. I'm going to go in next with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. So I did get it in the shade 4D. That's what the packaging looks like. And then this is the bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with that. I've already spoken on how I love this packaging. So nice. I'm then gonna go in with a brush that kind of has looks like this. I don't know what this is called and I don't even know where I got it from. This might have also been from when I purchased those wish brushes. It's not a harsh brush. So I'm just gonna do a little tap. There is a little fallout when you tap the um, bronzer, but that's not a big deal. And then we're just gonna go in. Starting with the cheeks. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, okay. Try to tell Barry, said, let me show you what bronzing can do, okay? You really don't need a lot. I almost got too much. This is real nice. It's giving sun-kissed and bronzed. You can't forget your blush. You can't forget your blush. So I absolutely love Juvia's Place brushes. So I'm going to be going in with the Blushed Rouge or Blushed Rouge in volume two um, of Juvia's Place. It looks like this. If you haven't gotten into any of these um, double blushes, you need to get into them because they are amazing. I have two. So I'm going to be going in with the number 96 Sephora Pro Brush um, here that I picked up during the savings event to apply my um, blush. So I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, just do a little tap to get some of that product on there. And we're just gonna see this is what I'm gonna use. Just a little bit of rush here, a little bit of rush there. That's pretty. I love me just a baby pink blush. I don't know what it is, but it just gives me baby doll and I go for that, y'all. And then just whatever is remaining of that bronzer on my stipple brush, I'm just gonna go over my eyelids with that. I'm now gonna go in with my Rare Beauty um, Always on Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. Freaking amazing, y'all. I love this stuff so much. I've gone through, I think, two bottles of this already, so I really love using it. I think it just helps to melt my skin together, refresh my face. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I like spraying it just like on my bare face because it feels so good and it makes my skin look refreshed and moisturized and luminous and radiant. I just really like it, so. I kind of go in with that spray. So after that spray, I'm then going to go in with my mascaras. This is L'Oreal Lash Paradise and the L'Oreal Telescopic um, Mascara. So they look like this. And I always go in with two mascaras. Um, the Lash Paradise is more of a volumizing mascara. So I like to use that first, and then I'll go in with the telescopic mascara, which is more of a lengthening mascara. And then with my telescopic, which as you can see, is a smaller um, applicator there, or spoolie, I'll then go more so just targeting that mascara on the top of my lashes. I don't usually do false lashes, so y'all don't see that a lot on my channel, me wearing fake lashes, but do I have them? I sure do. And I'll put them on for like more special occasions um, or just whenever I'm feeling like I wanna put on a falsy, I'll definitely wear them. But for the most part, I like rocking just my natural lashes. So I tend to um, use these two, this combination of mascara every time I do my makeup almost. So now I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And this is what this looks like. I got it in the traveling, the mini size, because um, the full size was out. So um, when I tried this during the haul, I didn't like how it sprayed out. I didn't like that application. But let's see what it looks like on some makeup. Ooh. 
Ooh, smells good. Okay, ooh, ooh. I think I like that on makeup, that looks nice. It definitely feels like it is, it has zoop, tied my makeup together and it feels like it's gonna stay. It feels like those oils are not going to be peeking through anytime soon. Um, so that is nice. I do like that. Um, I'm then going to go in while my skin is still a little damp from this spray. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of a highlight. I like a natural highlight. So I am going to go in with my Laura Geller, um, in the shade Golden Honey. I really enjoy this highlighter. I've had it for, I mean, like I've been using this for a while, this shade. Um, so it is, you know, like a golden color here. I don't know if I can get that. Yeah, it's a golden color. It's a natural highlight. I like natural highlights a little bit more these days. So I apply it to the button of my nose, do that exclamation mark essentially here. I think it just, it's so pretty. It just adds like the perfect amount of highlight for me personally, that golden nectar <laughs> on my melon skin. And I'm just going in with this little like eyeshadow highlighting brush. Again, I think I got it with the Wish brushes a while ago because I don't see any number of brands on it. So I go in on the cheeks, the butt of my nose. I'll go in a little bit on my chin. I do like to go on top of my lip and then a little bit on my forehead. Kind of anywhere where I put concealer, I will go in with the highlight. And then following that, back with the brush that I use for my powder, I'll actually just dab it on the highlighter where I applied my highlight i don't know why i just feel like it tones it down a little bit more that just goes to show how much i really just like natural highlight like i don't want it to be like boom in your face i like a natural look after i've done that if it wasn't enough i like to just go in with a little quick spray yet again with my max um prep and prime fix plus just a little bit just a little bit melt everything together and then I'm going to be going in with my MAC Lip Pencil and Chestnut, my Holy Grail. So we're just gonna go in and line the lips. I'm not doing a ton of, not, not a ton, I'm not doing any overlining. I'm just following the outline of my natural lip. See, it's just beautiful brown. I just love it so much. Uh-uh. Uh-oh, there we go. It's a beautiful brown. I love it so much. It applies so smoothly. It's not super drying. Like, I just really like MAC lip liners. I really like those pencils. Um, and so to fill in the lips, I'm going to go in with a Sephora lip plump, uh, plumper in the number two. So this is, I believe it's called Outrageous, the number two. And it's this mauve pink color. Like I said before, I've never tried, not never, but I don't really do lip plumpers, but I wanted to try out Sephora's since they had that 30% sale on their products. It really just feels like I have on minty lip gloss, so I'm really not mad at that. But I feel like I'm applying a lot. I feel like I am applying a lot just because I'm trying to get that glossy effect that I'm not entirely getting, um, but it's still very pretty. Well, y'all, that's the face. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I like the products that I purchased. Um, if I had to say my favorites of what I got from my haul that I did in this video today, the Summer Fridays lip balm, absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Like it might be taking over um, the Laneige that I absolutely love too. Like this might be winning. Really love this bronzer as well, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This powder is doing its thing. I'm not mad at it. As I mentioned, the Re Refi Brow Sculpt, I think it did really well. Like my brows look good to me. They look good, okay? The brushes, I did really like this um, blush brush. I think it applied my brush. I think it applied my blush really nicely. The foundation brush, at first I thought it was applying a little bit streaky, but after a while I think it did well at applying my foundation. Um, so these are just good quality brushes, I can tell. They're good quality. The concealer, the Kosas concealer, is holding up. Like I have no um, patches in my under in my under eye in the corner. I thought I had good coverage. Um, this was a little bit light for my chin, but under, honestly, with my under eye, it wasn't horrible. Um, once I mixed it with the Juvia's Place concealer, the spray 
it gave a really beautiful finish. Like it has a really beautiful finish to it. I'm really not mad at it and it smelled really nice as well. The foundation, I think, you know, now that it's dried down a little bit, y'all, I think we got a match. Like I don't think the 385, this is what it is. Yeah, 385 medium. I think this was a good match for your girl. Not mad at it. As we get a little bit more into the light, like I don't think it's horrible. I think that's everything, y'all, that I was trying out in this uh, video. So I hope that you enjoyed a little, you know, get ready with me natural makeup edition, <laughs> um, but also testing out some of these new products that I got from Sephora. If you have any of these, let me know in the comments below how you like them, if they worked for you or didn't work for you. Um, and if you enjoy these types of videos, let's just chatting and testing out new makeup, let me know and I will try to create more of those for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, make sure you subscribe to the fam. We would love to have you. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well well um, because that will notify you for any time that I upload shorts um, or videos such as this. So um, I hope y'all have a blessed week and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!